Hey, kids. This guy on Eddie's my name, and uh, bargains are my game. What's your pleasure? What have you got? Well, how about a TV, stereo, T-shirts, all quality merchandise guaranteed for life for 30 days, whichever comes first. <laughs> how come you sell stuff out of your car? Well, I uh, like to keep the merchandise moving. <laughs> hey, kids, uh, how about a radio? Sounds like a whole symphony orchestra. I'd love to play it for you, but I got no place to plug it in. Here, take a look at it. <laughs> it must be the batteries. It don't work on batteries. <laughs> she does. Huh? Hey, 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 wait a minute, kids. How about a mini TV? Battery powered, state of the art, hottest item I got. I'd love it, but I couldn't afford it. Afford it? Oh, this face. Oh, this. Listen, kid, I like your face. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You can have this TV set for, uh, how much did you say you got on you? I didn't. But I've got what's left of my mom's grocery money. Ten dollars. What a coincidence. That's exactly the price of the set. Ten dollars. And 18 cents. And 18 cents. <laughs> That's all. It costs a lot more in the stores. Well, right you are. But you see, due to my low overhead, I eliminate the middleman. Why, uh, sometimes I even eliminate the manufacturer. <laughs> uh, but listen, you kids better make up your mind quickly. I only got one left. Well, I can always pay Mom back with my allowance. Okay, Eddie, I'll take it. Smart move, kid. You are no meathead. Hi, we're back! Okay. Oh, hi, kids. Hi. Mom, Dad, guess what I bought from Discount Eddie? Discount Eddie? A mini TV, and it only costs $10.18. Guaranteed for life or 30 days, whichever comes first. <laughs> I'll bet. You know, a set like this costs at least 80 or 90 dollars. How could you get one for 10 dollars and 18 cents? He liked Jamie's face. <laughs> yeah, I used what was left of the grocery money, Mom, but I'll pay you back. Isn't it terrific? I'll let you know when I get a picture. Just as I thought, nothing. Well, you always say there's nothing on TV. <laughs> what happened, Dad? Well, you got ripped off, Jamie. Okay, where is this guy's store? Sort of on the corner of Third and Elm. Sort of? He sells stuff out of the trunk of his car. He likes to keep the merchandise moving. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a talk with this guy. Uh, discount, Eddie. I'll be back later. Third and Elm, right? Sorry about the money, Mom. Well, maybe it's worth it to learn that you don't get something for nothing in life, huh? Come on, Vicky, you can help me get lunch started. Oh, uh, would you open up this can of tomato juice? says on the can to shake well before opening. <laughs> I sure scared the heck out of a woodpecker. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Nothing, Harriet. 
Vicky, take that stuff off. Well, I'm glad our folks are going to the banquet together tonight so I can stay at your place. What do we do? Well, I'm going to watch Dracula. Maybe you shouldn't come because it's too scary. I want your blood. Blood, blood, blood. <laughs> that doesn't scare me. If you were a vampire, my neck would always be at your disposal. <laughs> that scares me. <laughs> forward to our banquet tonight. I want to look especially beautiful. Mm, so do I. Oh, you think you can do that much in three hours? <laughs> well, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, I'm sure you can do something. After all, they can paint a whole car in only one day. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. Well, what are friends for? I am going to wear my slinky red dress tonight. It doesn't reveal too much, but it lets you know there's a lot more where that came from. Oh, I remember it well. The one with the plunging turtleneck. Yeah, I was wondering, uh, could I borrow those gold earrings? The ones you're always saying are real. <laughs> they are real. Oh, see, you're doing it again. <laughs> Find anything you like, pal? Are you Discount Eddie? Hey, in the flesh. What do you need, friend? A policeman, if you give me any trouble. You what? What? Hey, what, what's the problem? You sold my kid this piece of junk. It doesn't work. I want his money back. That's $10.18. Come on. Come hey, on. relax. You got it. Discount Eddie stands behind all his junk. Here's your money, friend. Yeah, no, don't try to... <laughs> Just like that? You gonna give me my money back without an argument? Yeah, not only that, friend, but to make up for your boy's mental anguish, he can keep the TV set. Now, uh, does, uh, Kmart do that? Oh, gee, that's, uh, that's really decent of you. I'm <laughs> sorry I came on so strong. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's all right. Forget it. Take the money, take the boy to a movie, have yourself a nice evening. Well, you too. Uh, thanks again. Bye. <laughs> What's your rush? I mean, as long as you're here, friend, uh, what do you need? A tape recorder, movie camera, X-rated T-shirt? No, no, uh, no, listen, I, uh, I gotta run. Uh, my wife's waiting for me. Uh, we're going to a big banquet tonight. Yeah, banquet? Why didn't you say so? I got just the thing for her. Now, 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 turn around, turn around, turn around, and close your eyes, close and no peeking. Oh, will you see this? Ooh, now, how about something like this for the little lady? Oh, yeah. Genuine fox fur. Oh, very, very nice. <laughs> now, would she not look fantastic in this tonight? Oh, Joni would go crazy over a stole like this. Well, you could say that again. Joni would go crazy over a stole. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, listen, friend, picture it. I mean, you walk into the banquet hall. All eyes are on you. You stop and you turn you stand there proudly as everybody admires your beautiful wife. Why are we even discussing this? I can never afford this thing. This thing must cost a thousand dollars. Yeah, right, but not at discount Eddie's. How does uh, 200 bucks sound? 200. All right, all right. You drive a hard bargain, friend. You talked me into it. How about uh, 150? Oh, come on, Eddie. I mean, at that price, this thing has to be hot as a tamale. Well, you said it. Hot's the word. Look, no beating around the bush. Hot is, uh, hot. Well, listen, I could never buy my wife a stolen fur. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you about stolen furs, friend. I'll bet you didn't know that some of the best downtown stores sell, uh, hot furs. Come on. I like your face. I'm gonna make an even sweeter deal. One hundred and forty-nine fifty, including sales tax and... From you, I will take a check. Well, uh... You oh, think of the look on the little lady's face when she sees it? <laughs> genuine... <laughs> genuine fox fur. All right, you got a deal. <laughs> Oh, 
to see that crook wouldn't give you our money back for the TV. I'm not ah. surprised. Honey, we had Discount Eddie figured all wrong. Not only did he give me the $10 back, but he wants Jamie to keep the TV set, huh? Which does not work. The man's a saint. What's in the box? Come on over here. Sit down and close your eyes. Come on. Well, what for? Come on, sit, 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 sit. <laughs> close your eyes. No, 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 no. Okay, eyes closed? Closed. Okay. This better not be a trick. Mm -hmm. Feel that. Ted, I'll kill you if it's a dead cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, open your eyes. Oh, honey, a fox fur. Yeah. Like I always said, one gorgeous fox deserves another, huh? <laughs> you can wear it to the banquet tonight. Oh, honey. Oh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, genuine fox fur, mm. huh? Mm -hmm. How's it feel? Expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Can we afford it? Oh, easily at Discount Eddie's. Discount Eddie's? <laughs> yeah, yeah, one hundred and forty-nine fifty, including tax. I mean, does Kmart do that? Hmm? <laughs> what are you doing? Looking for the flea collar. <laughs> That price has got to be a dead cat. No, it's the real thing. Well, then it's got to be hot. That's the word. No beating around the bush. Hot is hot. Let me tell you about hot furs, friend. <laughs> I mean, Joan. Honey, uh, I appreciate you buying it for me, but I couldn't wear a stolen fur. You understand, don't you? Please take it back. But uh, You sure? I'm sure. But thanks. I love you for the thought. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Where you been? Jamie was teaching me how to jump over the garage on the evil Knievel of the pogo stick. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, did you see Discount Eddie? Yes, I did, Jamie. And not only did he give me your $10 back, but uh, he wants you to keep the television set. <laughs> hey, maybe I could find someone to sell it to. That way I'd be ahead on the deal. Forget it. It's dishonest to sell something that you know doesn't work. Get the message, kiddo. Yeah, but what am I supposed to do with a TV set that doesn't work? You can watch TV shows that don't work. <laughs> Welcome to Transylvania. Come closer, my dear. Closer. Closer. I thought you said these movies don't scare you. They don't. I just love putting my arms around you. <laughs> Forget it. Oh, what a cute little TV. So small and compact and adorable. It reminds me of you, Jamie. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I wish I had one like this. Well, you don't. So pipe down and... Harriet, would you mind going into the kitchen and getting us more popcorn? Oh, I'd love to. I heard on Dynasty that men are more romantic on a full stomach. <laughs> Vicky, I think I found a buyer for my mini TV. Forget it. It's dishonest to sell something that you know doesn't work. Get the message, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, that message was for me, not for you. You're gonna sell this TV to Harriet. And just like Discount Eddie sold it to me. Got it? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> There's no salt on the popcorn. Salt dries up your lips and ruins your pucker. <laughs> In that case, we're gonna need some sodas. I'll go get them. Discount Vicky's the name, and bargains are my game. <laughs> huh? How about this mini TV? Battery powered, state of the art, hottest item I got. <laughs> I'd love it, Vicky, but I can never afford it. Listen, kid, I like your face. <laughs> Tell you what I'm gonna do. You can have the set for. Huh? How much did he say you've got on you? 
All I've got is the three dollars I found under my pillow from the tooth fairy. What a coincidence. Exactly the price the set. <laughs> That's great. We've got a deal. I'll go home and get my money. Be right back. Smart move, kid. You're a real meathead. <laughs> Mm. Ah. I thought you were going to return the fur to discount Eddie this morning. The little rat wasn't there. He must have crawled back into his hole. And I called the bank and they already cashed the check. Terrific. That means we're at $150. Shame! 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 Shame on you! Well, what's the matter, Bonnie? Well, your deceitful child took advantage of my innocent little lamb. Speak up, dummy. <laughs> that thing's television set for three dollars and it doesn't work. Sorry about that. I'll see that Jamie returns your money. It wasn't Jamie. It was Discount Vicky. <laughs> discount Vicky? Uh, come on, Harriet. We'll get your money back right now. I think Bonnie and Clyde are in their room. <laughs> oh, uh, tell Joan I'm returning her gold earrings and I think I should warn her. About what? Well, they're fake. I barely got to the mirror before my ears turned green. Funny, those earrings are real. Your ears are fake. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. Now, what is this? Oh, that's uh, nothing. It's just a genuine fur stole that I got for Joan. Oh, on your salary? <laughs> it is absolutely divine. Now, why didn't she wear this to the banquet? Why? 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 Well, because <clears throat> she's uh, because she's allergic to it, you see? It, uh, it makes her break out. Who? Me too, in envy. I have always craved a stole like this. Oh, I love it. It is me all over. <laughs> oh, you did say that Joan was allergic to it? Do you think she'd want to sell it? Mm, no, I'm afraid not, Bonnie. Well, if she can't wear it, why not? Oh, man. <laughs> Honey, to tell you the truth, the fur is hot. That's right. It's supposed to keep you warm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What I mean is the fur is stolen. Of course. That's why they call it a fur stole. <laughs> Bonnie, read my hand. The fur is stolen. Yes, and how much do you want for it? Bonnie, I can't sell you the fur in good conscience. All right, then let's use my conscience. It's not so good. <laughs> how much did you pay for it? $150. Sold. Just on my way from the bank, and I've got that much on me. Here no, no. go. No, I don't think Joan would approve. No, sorry. All sales are final. <laughs> well, here I got her money back and went home. You like it? Ted just sold it to me. What? Well, honey, I tried to talk her out of it, but she insisted. <laughs> yes, I know a good bargain when I see one. And look on the bright side, Joan. It looks better on me than it does on you. <laughs> Bonnie, I can't let you have that fur. It was, well, it was a gift from Ted. It has sentimental value for me. In that case, of course, Joanie dear, you can buy your fur back. Well, thank you. As soon as you come up with the full amount. What do you mean? Well, the price is now $500. Take it or leave it. That is highway robbery. Oh, how can you put a price tag on sentiment? Bye-bye. Give me that fur. Oh, not until you meet my price. I haven't heard anything for free. No, give me some time and you will. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Bye. Well, honey, yeah, uh, we tried. But look on the bright side. I mean, we got our money back and... Uh, Bonnie is now the proud owner of a very expensive fur stool. More expensive than you think. That's a lot of money to pay for a three-legged fox. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it's fake. It's a dead cat after all. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, Dad, guess what? My TV's fixed. It works. How'd you fix it? Vicky, watch this. <laughs> uh, great! Oh. Isn't the picture kind of fuzzy? Yeah. Oh, that's no problem. I just have 
just an, it just a special antenna. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a perfect picture. It's like that. I can also change channels. Small wonder brings love. 